Hey, this is Linda with Lee and Linda Work. That's the pattern that you were looking at. And we want you to go ahead and just print that out. What If you're doing it like we did right here, you would print it out in no bigger than a 10 by 10 ish size. You would have some carbon paper handy and you would flip the picture that you printed out over, put the carbon paper down, put the picture on top of it and retrace it onto the canvas here. Now our canvas happens to be some reclaimed fence boards, as you can see by the nail holes. Uh, we went ahead and glued them together and then framed in with some one by ones. And you can use whatever you want that matches your preference, but it's, it will be done to hang on a wall once we put some wood burning to it. So I've warmed up the wood burning tool. It's a razor tip is what I'm using. And I have um, the, I, I don't know if you can see the tip right there, but it's just kind of makes a loop, but it does a real fine line or you can do a thicker line. I have the razor tip set on a temperature of about six and you can use any wood burning tool. It's really nice if you can set your temperature a coal wood is one that you can do that with and they're not very expensive and a razor tip is starting to get up into some money but it allows you to it heats up and you know you can switch tips out really fast and pretty awesome tool so I've just begun to start working on just the lines that I've already done this is really a pretty straightforward as far as pyrography goes just uh, use your tip and you outline everything that you see and in doing so a couple hints on using your tool is you're working with a hot tip in wood so if you leave it in any one spot for very long it's going to leave a dot or a you know a black dot instead of the smoother line that you're looking for so you're going to want to just keep your pen moving and keep a light touch on it and just outline all of the lines that you see and I even think I did them a little bit thicker around the very edge so that's what we do here I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this video so that we can it's kind of fun to watch hyperlapse don't you think
And now that we've finished outlining everything, we're gonna go ahead and start painting. As you can see, I started a little early with the stem. Um, I'm using watercolors that I got at Michael's. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the different areas. I started with the stem first and I decided to use certain green on that and then I did the leaves in a two-tone so half of the leaf is uh, one kind of one shade or one color of green and the other half is a different color and we're gonna go ahead and speed this up too so you can see the whole thing in a relatively short period of time
we're finished. You can see that there's some nail holes in this re repurposed wood and that just gives it some character. We would finish this off by, you can stain the outside edge of the framework and then spray everything with the polyurethane spray. But this is just one of the things that you can do with this pattern. If you are into wood burning or you think you might want to try it, just remember you can get your tool at Michael's or any hobby store, Hobby Lobby. And we're going to move on to the next thing, which is going to be punch needle. Thanks for watching.